Tournaments, the somewhat lesser known game mode in Stories 2. Hey guys and welcome back to Rage Gaming, my name is Hollow and today I'm talking tournaments because hey, I just completed them all. As it turns out, you can get a special armor set from the tournament mode that you can't get anywhere else. When fully upgraded, it's a solid end game option. And you might even like the visuals for layering too. We can join the tournaments at any quest board in any village, and as it stands, there's currently four levels. Bronze, Silver, Gold and Platinum, but then there's also the Legendary Challenge, which stands above even Platinum. By completing these challenges though, you will get tickets based on the level you just managed, and with that, different rewards. These tickets are exchanged for armor and weapons that you can't get any other way. And while the weapon is something I would say might be nice for mid-story gameplay, the armor is a solid PvP set, and also, yeah, lesser known for layering. To beat these tournaments, you need to select your free monsters you're going to want to bring, in relevance to what that challenge actually is. But to choose your team for the tournament mode, it can be a bit awkward. You need to back out of tournament mode and head to multiplayer on the quest board, then choose multiplayer setup. From there, you can edit your party and choose which ones you're going to bring. Something to note as well is you will be facing solo enemies where it's like you and your monstie versus them and theirs, or co-op challenges, meaning you'll be given an AI partner to help fight and face off against an extra set of enemies all at once, a big group fight. The tournament levels are unlocked by progressing the story quest, so unless you've actually completed the story, you won't be able to do them all. Generally though, to unlock the next level of a tournament, you need to have completed the previous challenge and get the level's license. Honestly, I find the tournament mode is actually a really nice way to ease you into hunter versus hunter combat and basically prepare you for the PvP side of the game. So if you're thinking about that, this is a good way to learn about it. Now let's actually talk about the rewards and how it all works and how to get it. So starting with bronze and bronze tickets. Once you'd beat the bronze challenge, you get your bronze ticket and with that you can exchange it for the great sword, the jaw blade, which might be okay during the early story sections, but it's definitely not that relevant. End game. More importantly, there's the black belt armor. This set is a bit of a fresh beginner hunting looking set, but I've always liked humble looking sets, especially when leveling in a game. But like I said, it's potentially a nice PvP set because it comes with tenacity and potential skills, which is going to reduce your risk of dying when at 50% health or lower. The bronze level challenges will be level 20 fights at max, so if you're going through the story, that would be the level you want to be at or higher to take it on. But if you're at end game like I was, you should steamroll it. Next, then we have silver and gold. The following tickets are meant to upgrade your equipment. So once you've got the actual first piece, silver will put it to level two, and then gold will put it to level three. Finally, platinum will be the max level, which is the one that's on par with high rank end game gear. The silver level challenge will end with a level 30 fight, whereas the gold level challenges will end at level 38. So you will have basically want to have completed the story and be around that level when you take these on. After that though, things get a lot more challenging as we go into end game fights. At the platinum level, we can upgrade our set all the way to the black belt armor plus, which like I said is the end game version. This one's a lot more challenging to unlock though, because the enemies that you need to defeat are going to be level 50. But that platinum set may be worth it, since this one has tenacity, critical kinship large, and evasion. Overall, pretty solid, especially for PvP considering all the survivability. I really like the burst of the critical kinship skill, since whether you're doing PvE or PvP, having more kinship to work with and choose different skills for your monster to use, well, that's really useful. And that evasion in PvP could be clutch, where you literally avoid all damage. We could be upgrading our jaw blade with all of this, but since we can actually get that weapon in different ways, I don't think that's as important. Either way, once you reach this fourth upgrade level, it will cost you the platinum ticket and also 10 points worth of different armor spheres. Lastly though, the legendary challenger mission, which rewards three ancient coins. These are tradable coins with merchants which sell directly for Zenny. Three of them are worth just under 100,000 Zenny, which isn't a bad reward at all, but you might find this a bit more of an ask. The enemies in this challenge are level 65, which was actually 10 levels higher than me at the time, so this was a bit of a fight. Dealing with Elder Dragons and Deviants, any mistake is pretty punishing. And similar to the Platinum Challenge, this is four battles back to back, so even longer. But I managed it at level 55, so it was perfectly doable for me. To help you out then, here's some general tips that work for me. AoE abilities are awesome in this game mode. You're able to dish out nice damage to everyone, so the enemy has to sort of pick and choose who they're going to heal, letting you maybe focus a weaker target and steal a heart. Since you can't target enemy hunters directly, normally, AoE attacks are a good way to do that too. Now, kinships can also target hunters directly, even if it's a single target kinship, but I will say any monster that has a 
AoE kinship, that's going to be a big deal here. In my case, my Bloodbath Diablos, which had an AoE kinship, was carrying me in these later fights. Another good tip is to use status or element attacks, say using thunder attacks to paralyze an enemy, for example, essentially stunning the enemy so they can't act, and that gives you an extra turn to maybe recover or finish a target. And since you're given a limited set of items in the tournament mode, you want to be familiar with what you're given. They could be key to winning depending on your current level and party. And lastly, since you're going to be doing some of these in co-op, you definitely want your companion to be Roberto. This guy provides huge damage, big AoE hits, and is in general an absolute chad. So be sure to go talk to him in Lulucian and make him your companion if you haven't. But there you have it. Once you've got it all done, you've got a fully upgraded set, which isn't too bad for PvP. And hey, we've made at least 100,000 Zenny doing this too. The thing is though, I could easily see them adding to the tournament mode in the future with, say, these incoming updates. So it may be well worth your time doing the ones that currently exist in prep for future ones, potentially with even bigger rewards. Overall though, I found it a pretty fun and interesting challenge, and it's something that I totally missed out on until endgame. So going through the pre-platinum challenges was a little bit easy because it was overleveled. I kind of wish I paid more attention and tried them during story, but it is very relevant challenges at endgame at those platinum levels and above. And like I say, that armor set's pretty damn solid. If you have any extra tips to help others beat the tournament or general PvP tips, really, drop them in the comments. Until next time then, I've been Hollow, you've been you. Thanks for watching. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye